Hey Trent, are you excited about the 2011 football season? Yes, Mark, was I cannot wait. I will finally get to play football instead of watching Mark and Graham stomp on people's faces. Oh, me too. I have always wanted to catch a football for the University of Alabama. But every time that I was going to catch a football, Julio Jones would push me on my face and steal the football before I could catch it. Yes, it will finally be our turn to play foosball now that those upstart showboaters are gone. I wonder why Nick Saban did not let me catch footballs before. Doesn't he know that I run a one and a half second 40 yard dash? I know, right? And why doesn't he know that I bench over 4,000 pounds? I once shot put DJ Fluke a 900 feet. Auburn will have no idea what happened when we punched them in the mouth this year at the Iron Bowl. Yes, by the time the Iron Bowl is here I will weigh over 500 pounds and it will all be pure muscle. I just finished moving all of my stuff into the weight room. They gave me a cot in the corner. I will probably average over 130 yards per carry. And that misnomer Nick Fairley will not be able to play against us because he had to go to the NFL and help with the strike. Now we don't have to worry about his cheating. Remember when he attacked those Georgia guys with ninja swords and laser bazookas? You are right. That is very good news. We also won't have to play against Mac Chi to scan Newton. Remember when he got on a motorcycle after the snap and rode into the ensign for a touchdown? Why did not the referees give him a penalties? I don't know. I wish the SEC referees were as tough as Nick Saban. Remember when we played Mississippi State and AJ McCarron threw the football into quadrillion coverage? And then Nick Saban hit his butt really hard. So hard he broke AJ's cock six. Ouch. Speaking of a quarterback, we will have one this year that can actually throw the ball. Greg McElroy could not throw further than 10 yards. It made me very upset because by the time he threw I was already in the end zone ready to catch a touchdown. I can catch a football. No you will not catch a football. That is for me. You can run the football. You will be able to do that this year because our offensive line will not be tackling you anymore. Yes, that is true. Remember when DJ Fluka tackled me for a 57-yard loss? That is why I shot putted him. I got the idea after Dante Hightower did it to him in the 2009 spring game. We will make lots of touchdowns this year. We will make touchdowns like Betty Boop makes cookies. I believe you mean Betty Crocker. No, Betty Crocker is the cartoon character from the 1930s with the funny head. Her head is shaped like a butt. Oh. Speaking of cartoon characters, did you hear that Crocodile Dundee will be playing for us this year? Really? Isn't Paul Hogan a little old to play football? He is like 150 years old. Who in the world is Paul Hogan? I am talking about that really huge guy with the mohawk mullet. You know, the guy that talks funny. Oh, that is Jesse Williams. I heard he beat up Lou Fredno in a loose ad war eagle. I also heard that when offensive linemen have to block him they poop in their pants because they are scared. I would also poop in my pants. Wouldn't you, Trent? No, because I could beat him up. But I am still happy he is on our team. Wow, you can beat him up. I bet Nick Saban could also beat up Gene Shizik. Gold Tide. Why do people in the stadium wear laundry detergent on their heads? I don't know but this stadium looks funny. Wait, we are in the wrong football aren't we?